The mathematical symbol for today is the Nabla symbol, which is written as this triangle. It often occurs when you do vector analysis or multivariable calculus. Because there it can be used as an operator which acts on functions. The definition is not so complicated, it's just a vector where the components are given by derivatives. So first we have the partial derivative with respect to the first variable, maybe it's called x1. Then the second component would be the partial derivative with respect to the second variable. Of course, if you work in three dimensions, it ends with the third variable here. However, in general, of course, with n dimensions, we just have n components and we end with the partial derivative with respect to the last variable. So what you should see here is, this is simply a short way to put all the partial derivatives, the first order, into one object. Then, formally, you can calculate with this object we call Nabla, like it would be a normal vector. For example, if we have the function that has two variables, x1 and x2, and now assume the function is just defined by x1 cubed, then we can calculate the so-called gradient of f. There we would write it as Nabla f of x1, x2, which in this case is a vector with two components. In the first one we find the partial derivative with respect to x1, which means we have 3x1 squared. And in the second component we have the partial derivative with respect to x2, which is 0. Okay, so this is the Nabla symbol, also often called the Nabla operator. Thanks for listening.